Good evening viewers and listeners. Subject of today's video is how to successfully update OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Now the update process for Tumbleweed, as I've described very briefly in a previous video, is a little bit different to how you would update most distributions. Certainly how you would update uh, the typical rolling release. And I'm thinking in particular of Arch here, where on Arch you would typically update packages at an individual package and library level. So if we come down here and look at the suggested software updates, we can see there are a number of applications and packages here which have new versions available. And typically on a distribution like Arch, you'd go ahead, do your update, and it will update the individual packages. That is not how you update Tumbleweed. For Tumbleweed, we need to hop between the current snapshot ISO to the next. And the way we do that we bring up our terminal and by the way before I do that if we look down here again at the list of packages um, in the uh, notification area you'll see at the bottom now on tumbleweed it now actually warns you to run zipper dup manually to install and that's because typically what you would do is you would run the uh, software GUI update manager that comes with your desktop environment so in this case that would be uh, KDE Discover, for example, or Plasma Discover, or it might be GNOME software, for example. Um, that's definitely not what you want to do. So bring up our terminal. Let's just make this a little bigger. Let's just zoom in the text a little bit here so we can actually see what we're doing. And all we need to do, we're going to do this live. So I'm actually going to update this while we're recording. So here goes uh, sudo because we need uh, super user privileges to do this and the name of the open SUSE or the SUSE package manager is zipper z y p e r and dup which simply stands for distribution upgrade and we enter enter our password and it goes away it checks and we get this lovely list so let's again let's just make this slightly bigger so we can see what we're doing now, this is telling us, it's warning us, we are about to do a distribution upgrade with all enabled repositories. Make sure these repositories are compatible before you continue. See man zipper for more information about this command. So we are now being told that the following 212 new packages are going to be installed. And very usefully in gorgeous SUSE green, we have every one of these packages highlighted at the beginning just to make it easier to read. So this is what we're going to have installed afresh. And if we come down further, we can see the following three patterns are going to be installed. And these relate to the office suite. And then the next section, we have the following 125 packages are going to be upgraded. So these are going to be upgrades from the currently installed versions. As we can see there, there are lots of plasma applications or KDE applications within there dotted among other packages. Now, um, the, the reason it's showing you this information is there may be something in here. Now, uh, typically, an update isn't quite as large as this, and the lists are usually much smaller. But um, you may want to go through this just to see if there is something in here which is known to give you problems. And if there is, you may wish to perhaps skip an update. But it's giving you that information, and it's inviting you to make an informed decision as to whether or not to proceed. And finally here, just to ramp home the point, that this is not just a package upgrade. This is a distribution upgrade. It's telling us here that OpenSUSE Tumbleweed is going from 2019.05.12 to 2019.05.14. So it's actually moving us from one ISO snapshot to the next. And it's asking us if we wish to continue. So we do. And it now goes away. And does our update now when you're doing these updates you'll often get uh, some warnings flash up and this will particularly happen where you've got third-party repositories enabled and the reason for that is that uh, OpenSUSE um, does quality check um, the ISOs before they are released but it can only do that to um, hosted repositories so if you're using third-party repositories and typically here this might be for example if you're using NVIDIA drivers those don't form part of that um, of that QA 
um, quality assurance and quality checking system. So those are excluded. So if you have anything installed from those repos, typically what you'll find, if there's a problem anticipated, it'll flag it here and ask you what you want to do. Um, most cases it's fine. I say typically it will happen where you've got, for example, um, NVIDIA or other proprietary dr graphics drivers installed. I don't. Um, I'm running on an Intel system here, so I don't anticipate any issues with this. I mean, I've done five or six of these updates now and nothing untoward has occurred. Now, the great thing about this way of doing things is that um, typically you'll get these updates flagged to you maybe once, twice, three times a week. Uh, it's your choice. You can install them as they're advised to you or you can wait a week and wait a month and wait six months doesn't matter um this is very different to arch um arch will typically fall over if you go too long between updates this does not matter because you're updating from one complete isolated iso that's been tested to the next and we're getting towards the uh, the end here We've downloaded and we've um, extracted and we've expanded the software. It's now doing the uh, the installation of those packages, as we can see. Uh, it's nipping along quite nicely. This is just a Core i5 um, NUC, so not the fastest machine in the world, but pretty zippy for for this distribution. And uh, we'll, we'll wait till this uh, concludes. And then you'll get to see if I've broken anything because I'm going to reboot it and we will see what happens. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we get back to a fully working live updated OpenSUSE tumbleweed. So we'll let that run. And there we are. Everything has been updated. Now, because I have uh, applications running on the system obviously i've got simple screen recorder running and there are some background services running obviously as part of the os it's now warning me that there are some running programs that might use files deleted by recent updates you may wish to check and restart some of them run zipper ps s to list these programs so that all seems to go painlessly let's see if it worked and we are back we've rebooted back into our system down here in the system tray, you can see the updates uh, notification is now gone because our system has now been updated. And if we click on our menu, all our software is still here. We can still launch, for example, our file manager, our terminal, everything still working as it should. So that's how you update OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. Hope you found that video interesting. Thanks for watching and see you again in the next one. Bye for now.